Well, greetings, friends. My name is Will Davis, Jr. Welcome to Good News Today, presented to you by Austin Christian Fellowship. This is the old version of the ACF Daily Devotionals. We've revamped them a bit, and I'm thrilled to be back with you. So we'll be presenting these to you five days a week, Good News Today. And what we're going to do for the next several months is we're going to study the book of First Peter together. And so this first Good News devotional is just designed to introduce you a bit to the theme of First Peter and to tell you why I've chosen it. So let me read you a verse from 1 Peter, the first chapter, verse 3. It's kind of the thesis statement of this amazing book, and it helps you understand why I've chosen it for our study together. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. That phrase, living hope, is really the theme of 1 Peter. Uh, in A.D. 63, Peter was in Rome. And in A.D. 63, the beginning of a pretty significant outbreak against Christians under Nero was, was really getting heated up. In A.D. 64, Rome would burn, and Nero would declare all-out war on Christians, and one of the most intense and violent and horrific persecutions against Christians in history would start in Rome. And Peter was executed in AD 64. So Peter's writing this maybe 18 months, 24 months before his death. He, he, in fact, in 2 Peter, he knows, he says, I know it's coming. He knows it's, it's pending. He's crucified. So the persecution against Christians, although it would get worse, is heating up. They're seeing arrests, they're seeing property confiscated, they're seeing family members separated, in some cases they're seeing executions. And it is a tough day to be a Christian in these churches that Paul addre that, excuse me, that Peter addresses here. And so he really writes about a living hope to a people who are suffering, to a people who are facing unprecedented times in their lifetimes unparalleled times. They're seeing things they never thought they'd see. And Peter writes to talk about the hope that is not in this world, but it's in Jesus Christ. So that's why I chose First Peter. I chose First Peter because most of us, well, all of us, are living through seasons, honestly, we never thought we'd see. We've seen the, sh the sand shift so much beneath us in the last six to eight months and I expect we'll see more in the coming months between COVID and the civil unrest and the racial tensions and who knows what else is down the pike especially with an election coming it's just a difficult day and whereas we had a system 20 years ago that was based on the Bible says and many, many people believe that we don't live in that world anymore and so first Peter seemed like an appropriate book to us as Christ followers not just here in Austin in the U.S. but maybe around the world wherever you are to kind of reset our thinking because the hope, this is so good, now bear with me, the hope that Peter offers his audience is not in the world. He doesn't say, you know, this is gonna get better and we're all gonna get our lifestyles back and it's all gonna be okay. He didn't say that, he says, we have a hope in the resurrection of the dead in Jesus. We have a hope set for us in heaven. We have a hope secured for us in a great inheritance. That's where our hope is. Your exiles on earth, set your hope on things above, as Colossians 3, chapter, chapter, chapter 3, verse one says in Colossians. That's what he offers his people. Not, hey, the government's going to have an election. It's all going to be fine. He says, you can't trust that. Things may get worse, but we have a living hope, a living hope. So what is hope? I'll say more about this when we get to verse 3. Hope is the chronic expectation of something good. Hope is the ongoing expectation that good is coming. And, and Peter said, we have that because Jesus rose from the dead. So I hope you'll join me here five days a week, Monday through Friday. And I'll be having other staff and leaders share as well because you're so good and so capable. We want their perspectives too. I hope you'll join me here five days a week, first thing in the morning, for good news today as we walk through First Peter and think about the hope God has given us in the world that is above circumstances, it's above conditions, it's above the stock market, it's above the election results, it's above tension and racial violence and protests, it's above all that. It's above, it's above coronavirus. It's a living hope. It can't be snuffed out. And we'll be talking about this together. I can't wait. Let me pray for you. Lord God, I pray you'll bless the time in Jesus' name as our study begins in 1 Peter. I pray you'd use me and others who teach here. And I pray you'll take this book and encourage our people. I pray we'll spread this message 
all over, I pray this devotional will get forwarded to people all over the country and around the world who need it. Thank you for inspiring Peter to write this great book, and I pray you'd use it to raise our expectations of our hope in you. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.